Well, as you know, um, education is one of the main pillars um, under the country's plan to become a fully democratic nation. Um, and the UK is playing a, a quite an important role in supporting the reform process that is taking place. I don't think any other country in our lifetime is going to go through the same scale of reform that Myanmar is currently going through in terms of transitioning. And I think education is a, is a massively critical part of that reform. The government at the moment is leading on a huge reform process which involves reviewing the whole of the education sector from kindergarten level up to higher education with everything in between. And the UK is one of the main um, agencies of the main countries supporting this process. The government has really accepted that they need to invest in their people in order to support the politics and the economics and the kind of social development within Myanmar. The UK's education system is one of the oldest education systems in the world. It's, uh, you know, we've got some of the best universities in the world. We've been through a number of reform processes ourselves. We've got an interesting education system where, for example, you've got the English education system and the Scottish education system. We've got issues around bilingualism, multilingualism, which are relevant to, to Burma as well. And of course, you know, we've got a, a lot of historical ties with Burma, which is also important. And I think they look at the UK as a source of expertise and knowledge um, and, and, and they can gain a lot from, from learning from the experience of the UK. I wanted to look at Yangon University, look at what's here, meet some of the people, try and get some sense of the facilities. And the reason for doing this was to think about possible ways in which Oxford could help Yangon to, to regain its former regional and indeed international so uh, eminence. what did we discover? We discovered that actually, despite this huge damage, he did retain a lot of his mental faculties. But his personality changed. We can give people a bit of a push and a bit of a pull, but they give us a bit of a push and a bit of a pull as well. And that's why collaboration is the right way to do it. So over years to come, I hope we'll find further areas in which we'll be able to set up, nurture, and then enjoy watching really good collaborations. With Burma opening up to the world, trying to compete in the international space, uh, in trade and commerce with other ASEAN countries, of course English being the international language of trade, um, that, that improvement of the English language at school level, university level, teachers, students and so on is very, very important. A lot of people look at the UK education system as a very attractive system for, for their own children. So we're seeing an increase of interest from parents, for example, who want to send their kids to, to UK institutions, UK boarding schools, UK universities. But also I think there's going to be a growing interest for local institutions to partner with UK institutions to deliver UK programs here. So to deliver, for example, bachelor's degrees locally in Burma, and maybe in the future even look at different models of transnational education. Right? Yeah. Okay, so formal one, <coughs> who got the same idea? Do you sleep with your window open? Yes. What you have seen is a, a micro-teaching session by the participants and uh, two groups of learners were actually um, teaching their fellow participants. Does it take you just the right, did it take? Just the right amount of time. For me, um, the classroom is uh, the most important place because I do believe in the bottom-up process in the change. Uh, we have uh, a lot of you know top-down processes running in the country, but if you look at uh, the classrooms, the, our teachers uh, are not prepared for the change. The changes uh, are promising. Um, the thing is uh, how we go about it, you know. Everybody agrees that, that we need change in the education sector, but different people have different opinions. 
change is uh, um, beautiful on paper, it can be messy in reality. So we, we mustn't forget that. Feedback is important, really important, but at the same time... Something one really needs to emphasize is that in all development, everything depends on relationships. When you form a good relationship with someone, or with an individual or with an institution. You can do things that were inconceivable until you've done that. This visit and visits like it are about developing relationships so that we really understand each other, can really figure out one another's hopes and aspirations, and from that we can get the right results. They're, they've got a really committed government behind them who are really wanting this reform to, to take place and for it to be successful, and then bottom up, You've got a mass of people who are really passionate about, about changing their education system and they want to see these changes. And then you've kind of got this worldwide support of lots of people flocking into Myanmar to actually make that change happen. So I think, I think it, it is very, very positive, the future. There's a really strong willingness for change. There's a huge appetite for change. So I think that kind of positive attitude and energy and willingness creates a lot of opportunities uh, and I think a lot of positive change is possible out of that.